Well, this morning, two Houston City Council members are raising concerns about the new firefighter contract. 94% of Houston firefighters overwhelmingly voted to approve the five-year deal last weekend. Our Kathy Hernandez is live at Houston Fire Station 8 in downtown Houston with those concerns. Kathy, good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, two city council members, council members Edward Pollard and Tiffany D. Thomas are now asking if the deal is best for the city financially. They have questions for Jan, John Whitmire. They want to know what are the long term effects for taxpayers, especially at a time when other city departments are cutting. And also they want to know what does this mean for other city contracts, including HPD. The deal offers 650 million million dollars in back pay for the eight years firefighters worked without a contract. That money would come from judgment bonds. It also gives firefighters up to a 34 percent raise over the next five years, but it's unclear where that will come from. Yesterday, council members Pollard and Thomas sent a letter to Mayor John Whitmire raising 10 questions on whether the proposed deal is in the city's best financial interests or will it ultimately cause dire fiscal challenges that will impact services citywide for years to come. These are just some very basic questions that um, council members and the general public should want to know. It's all in the spirit of transparency. This could be a great deal, but explain why. And in a statement, Houston Professional Firefighters Association President Marty Langton says Mayor Whitmire's decision to settle was not only prudent but necessary for the well-being of our firefighters and the fiscal health of Houston. A spokesperson for John Whitmire says that he is reviewing the letter those two council members sent to him and attorneys involved say it'll be June before the paperwork is done to complete this deal. Of course, this is a developing story and we'll continue to follow it for you. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC2 News.